Hey people! Welcome to Nakavta Realms, episode 5. You can see what I'm in creative because we switched this entire world to creative. Well, we actually didn't switch the world to creative, it's a new world now. So yeah, so this will be a creative episode and the next one will be as well. So yeah. Well, it's a good thing I didn't mess that intro up like I did in the other episodes, I guess. Yeah! Right. Actually did nice. Now that this entire world is creative, it's a new world, basically. And we just started out with a lot of houses, and then we ended up with a lot of houses. So, yeah, this is an entirely new world. And the survival world is still intact. It's just not being played right now. So, yeah, we'll have that when we switch back to survival again. Also, we're only doing two creative episodes because Nat Chapter Realms is supposed to be only survival. So, after this episode and the next episode, which is episode 6. In episode 7, we will switch back to survival. So yeah, don't worry. It's coming back. We'll just have to do a couple of recordings of this world, I guess. Okay, so I guess it's time to introduce this world to you. What's happened in this world? Okay, so basically everyone in the server has a house. Okay, so I'll show you all the houses. This is Kevy's house. It's made of quartz. And uh, you can see it says the Deku Disco Mansion. <laughs> Kevy calls himself DQ because it's from anime. And uh, yeah, it's Owner Firewolf Prince. House. This is his actual house, but technically it's some storage, so yeah. And this is storage, which is even more storage. I don't know, it's kind of confusing. It's the same place. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> They're the same place then. I don't know, it's kind of difficult. But anyway, so that's Kevy's house, and uh, this is Kev D's house. The names are pretty similar. Yeah, this is pretty cool, I guess, but I won't go into too much detail. Francis is the owner of the server, so we have to introduce his house. So it's Hi. called Slightly Larger Shack by Owner 39 Cookies. This is the house generally. This is the bedroom. This is the I don't know storage. It's tiny, but it's a good house. But if you're wondering, it says slightly larger shack, so it, there must be a smaller shack, right? So here's the smaller shack. It's a not hot shack owned by him, but it doesn't say, I guess. Oh, it's, I don't own it. I don't know slightly, okay. Um, you can come along and claim it if you want. You see, it's tiny, and um, yeah, that's why it's called not hot shack. Okay, so this is Barry's bar. Barry's bar is basically, well, if you remember from uh, when we were still in the survival world, Barry was this weird dude. Um, scroll the clip. Barry. What? <laughs> so this is Barry's bar. Basically, he st sells food here. And if we have a look inside, um, there's Barry, who's in the form of a villager, which is kind of sad. Water is the cost of two dirt, Pepsi is free, and Coke is cost free slime. This is a chair. It doesn't look like a chair, but it is a chair, I can assure you. Okay, so now let's have a look at, talk about uh, this thing right here. Um, This is Arik's house. Arik recently joined this realm. So he's building this house right now. So yeah, um, that's how it's gonna work. But anyway, yeah, that's Arik's house. Now let's talk about my house. You notice how I haven't actually shown you my house yet? My house is actually very secret. It's in a secret place somewhere that I won't tell you because it's secret. Basically, the server has a secret underground thing that you it's very hard to find. Actually, it's very easy to find, but it's very hard to enter or figure out where to enter. And um, yeah, that's basically how it works. And there's lots of entrances and lots of exits. So yeah, that's how the secret works. And well, so my house is in the secret, so yeah. You know, me and Kev D own the secret underground uh, secret. It's called Alex and Dootube secret place because like I'm Alex the guy and he's Dootube, but like, I don't know. And yeah, it's just really secret and stuff. So yeah, now I'll just um, explain some of the things that are owned by the government. I may miss some of them, but who cares? Okay, so this is a Natchapter City Gulag and the owner is the government. 
The gulag is for bad people. And there's lots of lava to kill the bad people. Okay, so that's the gulag. Also, I have something to say about the term government. Because this is a communist server, the government is run by the people. So, when it says the government, it's technically just the community. Now, here next we have the Garden of Love. The government. I don't know how this works, but there's two wood, um, love heart thingies. And it says Garden of Love. Add your name and a flower. Garden of love. Add your name and a flower. Okay, so there's lots of flowers basically. And you can just put all of the people that are in here. And yeah, that's basically how it works. Okay, so this is the starting area. Although it doesn't say owner the government here exactly. Well, actually it does. It's not exactly, it's just called spawn. And you have the server rules here and here and it says welcome to natch the city so if i just kill myself um i will hopefully respawn here and then it says welcome to natch the city and i can happily enter this place the world spawn is just set just there and yeah that's how that works this is the library it says natch the city library oh no the government which is the community Basically, this place has a lot of bookshelves. I don't know um, what other use there is, except for a pop-up enchantment table, which can be is supposed to be working on. But yeah, that's the library. It has lots of books, but we can't read them because it's Minecraft. This is the community bunker. Oh no, the government, again, you know. The community bunker has two places. Snack Shack or Old Shack Secret House Sewers, and coming soon, the ship sewers. So, basically, here's the snack shack. I'll show you that first. So, the snack shack is basically a place where you can get lots of snacks. Like, watermelon, milk, cookies, bread. And you just press each of the buttons, and you will get one of those. My inventory is full, though, so I can't pick them up, which is kind of sad. Alright, so now back to the ship, which is the ship this is the ship it's basically a shipwreck these were added in 1.13 and uh we found one right here so yeah um you can access the ship basically from the community bunker now we just head back to here and you can actually see that there's lots of beacons around we have this beacon Kevdi tried to make a rainbow beacon that rotated around using this uh, piston cycle, but that doesn't work. I also made this rainbow beacon that works. Well, but it's not redstone. It's just lots of rainbow stuff and, you know, these pain glasses that I was using to make this. So this is the Natural the City pumpkin farm. Oh no, the government. I attempted to build a pumpkin farm at the start when we switched because right now we, you know, in the survival world, we had a pumpkin farm that kept built, but it was really small and bad. So I wanted to make an expandable design that worked well. So here's what I've got here. And there's supposed to be a minecart down there to collect all of these pumpkins, but that doesn't work. Um, and you know, so yeah, that's the pumpkin farm. This is another house and it's kind of random and you can see it has no doors, but you can actually access those from the community bunker, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's why it has no doors because you just access it from all the way over somewhere there. I know. This is my failed attempt at building a 4x4 piston door. I tried to build one, but it was really hard for me. Let me see if it works. Like the at least the closing should work. Yep, the closing works, but the opening doesn't because I have I haven't actually built that yet, so you know, it doesn't work. This is the military base. Why do we even need a military base, you ask? I mean, this is natural habit cell, so why do we need one? Well, that's because me and Francis like to build flying machines, so <laughs> he just started flying. Okay, we like to build flying machines and missiles, and we're trying to figure out how to build them so that to protect, protect ourselves. And we also like to build lots of weapons, like this one, which is like a fireball firing thingy that's run out of um, fire charges. Yeah, that's why we need the military base. It's pretty important, but now it's kind of scrapped. And also it has water on the floor because we need the water so that we don't explode everything if the TNTs ignite and stuff. You know, don't destroy everything. We and over here we have the airport. You're supposed to fly with your Elytra into here, 
kind of weird, but you know. So this is an x-ray machine apparently. Also the entire airport is actually still under construction. So expect not much, you know, so. so we're gonna yeah. build planes and then. Yeah, but currently you just fly with your Elytra through the airport and all the way through, you know. So yeah, that's how the airport works. That's Francis will probably build that. I have not an idea of how airports work. But Francis has been on a lot of planes, so, you know, he'll build everything. So, you can see that there's some fences around here that says unclaimed plot owner or something. Well, people are gonna need some plots, so we've pre-built them, basically, and, uh, yeah. We're just waiting for someone to claim them. Also, for example, the not, not hot shack is also waiting for someone to claim it, so, you know, uh, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, and here we have my nether portal. Well, I built this, but anyone can go through it, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, and if we go through the nether portal, you know, we get to the nether. And, um, I'm burning in lava right now. Block up the lava, block up the lava. Block I don't lava. think that's a really good idea since it might overflow the lava somewhere. But anyway, let's go back. I suppose that's about it for this episode, and if you're wondering, Hey, why don't you do some stuff in this world? Well, we're not really gonna do that because just like in episode one when I introduced you to the entire server, um, we're just gonna introduce you to this as well. So it, this episode is just kind of introducing you to everything in this world. Next episode will be the last creative episode for this session. And it will also be the episode where we actually build some stuff. So yeah, that's what's gonna happen in the next episode. I definitely haven't addressed everything in this world, but hopefully I've addressed most of it and haven't left out anything that's super um, obvious that I should probably do that. But anyway, um, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.